that I want to share with you. This is called More Than Enough by Dave Ramsey. I'm not going to read you the book, and I'm not going to tell you to go read the book, although it's a great one. I'm reading it because I have read everything Dave Ramsey's ever written except for this book, so I kind of figure I should just read it. But at this point, I'm so well-versed in his teachings, I could probably teach his classes. Um, but anyway, so there's a quote or a two-page spread in here about responsibility that I thought was incredibly relevant to weight loss. When I read it last night, I wanted to jump up and shout and cheer, but I was in the best, so that would have been awkward. Um, but I have to share it with you because I find here in the weight loss community, a lot of people complain and a lot of people don't take control of their their lives. They don't take control of their situation. Um, and they want to blame everybody else. They want to blame everything else. This is a, something we're all a victim of. But um, I try my best not to complain and not to blame other things. Because the minute I do that, I take responsibility off of myself and I stop losing weight. I stop, I stop moving forward. And you will notice in the history of my weigh-ins and my time here on YouTube, um, I have not really doled out responsibility to a lot of other people. I've taken it all on myself. And I think that's one of the key reasons that I've been so successful is because I blamed me, but I also decided I was the one that was going to make everything happen for myself. I wasn't going to wait for anybody else to do it for me. So I thought I'd instill some of that energy into you because I think that mindset really was one of the things that carried me through to where I am today. Responsibility has to be personal. This is the reading now. I am not a licensed or degreed psychologist, but I, I believe that traditional Freudian views of psychotherapy have done more harm to our nation's values than any philosophy to come along in years. The concept of digging in the graveyard of your past to find what caused your faults has some merit when used to identify wounds and heal them. But too often we are taught to blame our lot in life on others. It was our mean, nasty old parents. It was that we weren't the first born. It was our brother who tortured us. It was our sister who got all the attention. Bull! Thousands and thousands of people who had horrible childhood, childhoods thrive and even prosper in relationships and wealth. Why do they prosper? Because they made a decision that their fate is up to them and that it's their own personal responsibility. Albert Schweitzer said it well. Man must cease attributing to his problems to his environment and learn again to exercise his will, his personal responsibility. Enough whining. I'm sick of whining. Whining by every special interest group, whining against our upbringing, whining against the mean old boss, whining against your pastor, whining about your spouse, especially if it's an ex-spouse. Just whining. Whining is a sign of a lack of character on your part. If you don't like the way something is, do something about it. Finger-pointing, blame-shifting, and whining, while they appear to have merit, do not, are not doing something. There is tremendous energy in positive activity and in providing a solution. That activity, while it may not solve the problem, moves you from being self-centered to solution-centered. It matters to this one. For years, motivational speakers have told the starfish story, and it makes the point, so here goes. A storm had caused thousands of starfish to be washed ashore on the beach. As the early morning sun was coming up, it became apparent that thousands of them would die that morning. A man walking down the beach looked at this sad sight and noticed a boy throwing a starfish back into the ocean. The man in his father, fatherly wisdom walked up to the boy, placed his hand on his shoulder, and said, Son, you can't save all these starfish. They are going to die. What does it matter? It matters to this one, the boy replied and threw another in. Do something to impact your situation. Take responsibility, because you aren't anyone else's job. Yes, we all get kicked, get a bad break, have horrible things happen to us. It takes a little while to recover your strength when you get punched, but after the appropriate grieving and healing, we must make the decision to make lemonade from lemons. When bad stuff happens, resist the human urge to blame, and instead join the elite group called the doers. Anyway. It matters to this one. It matters to this one. What do you care if I binge? What do you care if I don't weigh in for three months? What do you care if I gain all the way back? I mean, I know a lot of you are genuinely interested in my life, but really, it doesn't matter to you. But it matters to this one. 
and it's the same for you. I will cheer you on when you lose 40 pounds. I will console you when you've gained eight. I will teach you everything you need to know. I will not chide you, but I will gently instruct you on how to do things better. But in the end, I don't care. It's your life. I mean, I care in the way a friend can care, but it's not my life. Hell, if I'm doing well, it's too bad that you're not doing well. Who cares about your problems? That sounds so horrible, but it's true. It matters to you, and therefore you are the one who has to do something about it. Because nobody else is ever going to change anything for you, especially not your weight. So if you need to take control, take control, damn it. Because nobody else is going to do it. And that's how I lost the weight. It doesn't make me better than you. It just makes me um, someone who finally found a way to take responsibility for their own actions. Which, trust me, took a long time. Anyway. That's all I have. Happy Tuesday. I know my hair's a disaster. I took a bath last night, and when I wake up in the morning after a bath, it's like, Krah! it looked so pretty last night before I went to sleep. Anyway, I have to go work. I hope you all have a great day, and um, if you want to read that book, it's called More Than Enough. And it's about once you've got out of debt, or as you're nearing the end stages of your debt repayment, where to go, <clears throat> forward with that, how to invest, how to save, how to give. Good book, so far at least.